what can I do to improve the quality of my swimming pool water? That's a, a question that gets emailed to me quite a bit, actually. And, you know, the the truth of the matter is, is that there isn't some secret sauce out there. Like, I, I, I'm a pool expert. You know, do you think that I have some expensive piece of peripheral equipment that's unavailable to the public? But really not. That's not the case. You know, the when you look towards the, the people who know what to do the best, what did they do with their swimming pool water? We don't use alternative things and we don't use magnets or special minerals or anything like that. We use chlorine and we know how to use it. And honestly, that is the best way. That is the safest pool water that you're going to get. And it's that way for a lot of reasons. And specifically what you want to appreciate is that there's layers of protection in your pool water and that's that's built into the system of using chlorine as the the baseline line of safety in your water and a lot of pool owners don't appreciate that they think that you know well there's got to be an alternative out there a chemical free pool an alternative to chlorine you know i understand that it sounds bad and certainly we all don't want any more chemicals in our lives than we need to have but if it's something that gets supplied in the drinking water that you drink and bathe in and cook in then you have to wonder like is this something that i really want to deviate from is there really a better solution out there you know and there's not really there's not really a better solution on the market uh, when it comes to taking care of your pool water except to use chlorine use it properly and then perhaps if you had to find one thing if there was one thing i could say that okay i think that would make a, a, a decent improvement to the quality of your water i would say add an, a uv system a uv light is readily available on pretty much every market it's pretty affordable it's not brand new unproven technology it's something that's out there and we know it works it's actually in a lot of areas mandated to be used in high-risk areas and what what's a high-risk area well an example would be a children's splash pad or a warm water therapy pool at a senior center those would be uh, examples of high-risk areas and in those areas in a lot of places you would have to use uv and the reason why is that uv provides protection where chlorine is weakest. And you might think, okay, well, great. Why don't I just use UV? Who needs this chlorine business? Again, that's not how it works. There's levels of protection that are being provided here. And chlorine is the best solution we have. It's something that works. It's something that's testable, measurable. We can prove it works and it does. You don't have to be exposed to an excessive amount of it, provided that you're you know, understanding how it works in the water and you're using the right amount. If you add 10 times as much chlorine as you needed, yeah, okay, now you're exposing yourself to too much, too much chlorine, too many chemicals. And, you know, there's things you can do about that. You can learn to manage your water a little bit better. And I think that it, that would go a long way towards alleviating the concern you have that you're being exposed to too many chemicals. You probably feel that way because you Deep down, you probably recognize you don't really understand the nature of balancing pool water. So what I would say to people out there searching for solutions, what's the best way? What, what can you do? Learn to manage your chlorine properly. And if anything, add a UV system, which complements chlorine quite nicely because it's strongest in the ways that chlorine really is the weakest. And that's, in essence, something that I would want swimming pool owners to know. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.